All right, so a beautiful breeze here on this afternoon on what plant is that, Paul? And right now, believe it or not, you're looking at prime habitat, if you didn't know, for dragon fruit. So um, I've recently joined a succulent swap group because I'm a plant hoarder and um, I see a lot of posts on unknown varieties of dragon fruit and people didn't know what to do with them. So this is gonna be the cheapest way to support a dragon fruit. So um, here it is. I don't really plan on getting fruit from this guy, although maybe I will. I'm just gonna let it climb up this beautiful Indian laurel fig. Um, this is a very resilient tree that will definitely be able to host a dragon fruit. So if you have something like this in your yard, this is perfect in my opinion. So we're gonna try it out. And um, that potting soil is awesome. I mix that with um, regular kind of uh, Home Depot soil, but I'd say about 80% that and that stuff's awesome um, Look around. I got it for 15 bucks a bag um, Nearby so all you need is a definitely some great well-draining um, Rich soil dragon fruit do not just like they like a lot of organic matter um, They like a lot of nutrients and so you're gonna need also a um, a some type of raised pot with um, holes in the bottom so it's well draining and that's about it. So fill up a pot. If you get a cutting of dragon fruit and you want to just see what it could do, uh, pop it on a tree. Use some, I call it planter's tape. Maybe you call it something else, let me know. But uh, use some of that and let it climb. So there you go. Give us a like, subscribe. We'll see what happens with this variety. This is a white flesh, if I believe right. It's an unknown variety I got from Home Depot. So I'm just gonna let it cruise up into this tree and hopefully they can live and symbiosis. All right, I hope you have a wonderful day. If you have any questions or comments, let us know. We'd love to hear from you. Take care. Bye. Dude, it's creepy.